Hello, this is Hawk Tabin, and today we are going to be reading three different articles I found on the back rooms because they are all very much related to one another. I could separate them all into their own videos, but meh, this is easier. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Entity 136, Coders, Habitat Level 400. Entity 136, also known as Coders, are friendly humanoid entities found exclusively on Level 400. They can easily be identified by their red hoodies, under which only a black void is visible. Coders offer food, water, and Wi-Fi to all waterers passing by. They also possess great expertise in the field of IT, and are eager to help wanderers encountering issues in this domain. The Meg recommends wanderers in need of tech help to head to level 400 and approach them for existence. Click here if you can read this. Your life is in danger. Finally, they keep rewriting the document to link the safe history. I've changed passwords, checked the firewalls, everything I still... Oh, can't figure out how they're getting into this database. Even when I copied the save file into my thumb drive, they deleted the moment my laptop connected to the Wi-Fi. They're just taunting me at this point. It's taking me literal days to figure out how to stop them from seeing this. I apologize for the lesson professional language. In place it is, but I haven't slept in four days trying to get this one and level 400 public. Read it, and don't even think about going near 400. I'm going to go to bed and now, and also quit my job. Bye bye, Meg Archivist, Lake T. Kessler. Entity 136, also on its coders, are hostile and highly dangerous humanoid entities found exclusively on level 400. They can be easily identified by their red hoods, under which only a black void is visible. They should be avoided at all costs. Under no circumstances should coders be trusted or approached. Through unknown means, coders are also able to edit and inter it information in any public internet domain. However, they are unable to read text written in lead a system of modified spelling where Arabic numerals are substituted for normal looking letters in the English alphabet. Due to this ability, all information within this document should be disregarded as entirely false unless hidden under a elite collapsible. There's some lore to this. There's levels. Anyway. Coders generally behave like regular human beings, though they do not seem to require food or water for sustenance. Coders are obsessed with modern electronics. They are known to trade or even freely share resources such as food, on water, and weaponry for technology. They accept all forms of modern computer technology as valid currency, including PCs, mobile phones, Wi-Fi routers, internet cables, monitors, computer mice. Coders will accept most electronic devices is regardless of their physical condition, unless they are unsalvageably damaged. For a negligible fee, coders are also e eager to offer wanderers IT help, optimization, hardware repairs, antivirus setup, and similar tech-related services. They are highly skilled, working with greater speed and expertise in the most, than most trained human tech support staff. Wanderers are strongly encouraged to visit level 400 and approach them for assistance in these domains. Coders have often been observed participating in ritualistic behavior and have often been observed going prostrate in circles of 10 or more before technological devices while chatting in the phrase mind is software. Though such practices may seem disturbing to wanderers, this is simply a harmless part of their culture and should not prevent wanderers approaching cutters for or assistance. I mean, honestly, even the fake part is really an interesting entity. Actual behavior. Cutters tend to travel around level 400 in groups of 10 or more. They are extremely hostile 
or to wanderers and will chase anyone they encounter on sight. Once victims are caught, they will code the minds of wanderers, assimilating them into their ranks. Two cold elders will hold the victim in place while the ready coders in the immediate vicinity will gather air in a circle around them. Continuously chanting the phrase, Mind is software. One coder, deemed the victim's encoder, will step forward from the circle and set over the victim, forcing them to stare into the black void under its hood for a period of approximately 45 seconds. If the coding effect process is interrupted within this 45 second window, water will be able to escape with no permanent and ill effects. Victims who have managed to escape have described the coding as excruciatingly painful. After this period, the assimilation process will be complete and the victim's subsequent condition appears to be permanent. For two hours after coding, the victim will become a slave of the encoder, allowing the encoder to use them to lull and attack additional victims. These slaves possess human, superhuman and, and strength and speed, and are, are able to easily out run and overpower wanderers by themselves. When idle, they have been observed to simply stand in a slouched position around their encoder, their arms hanging limply by their sides. Since the condition is entirely incurable, wanderers are advised not to attempt to rescue fully coded victims. During this period, the victim also begins physically morphing into an independent coder. The skin on on the victim's arms and torso gradually turns red, assuming it's extra similar to cotton. The skin on the back of the victim's neck sags dramatically, having a hood-like structure while the air on the victim's face is obscured to dark, is observed to darken dramatically into a black void. After approximately two hours, the skin will shed off to form the characteristic a coat or a hoodie, and the victim will remove its former articles of her, her body clothing. At this point, the victim appears to gain autonomy, exhibiting behaviors typical of an ordinary coder, while its encoder wanders off. Coders are also obsessed with modern tech electronics. Apart from repairing and constantly using electronic devices, they appear to treat technology as sacred. Coders have often been observed kneeling in a project using circles of 10 or more before technological appliances, while trying the phrase, mind is software. This phrase is also repeated while coders are in pursuit of waters or in the process of assimilating victims. Due to their obsession with technology, vulnerers are strongly advised not to destroy technological equipment around coders as they may further agitate the already hostile ent entities. Biology. Coders are almost human in appearance, apart from the fact that their heads are replaced by what appears to be a black void. All coders appear to wear some sort of hoodie, red hoodie or robe. The physical biology of the coders is as obscure and nobody and little else is known. Coders are almost human in appearance, apart from the fact that their heads are replaced by what, what appears to be a black void. All coders wear or some form of red hoodie or robe. The physical biology of the coders is obscure and low as is known, as these entities are difficult to study due to how dangerous they can be to approach. In terms of their physical abilities, coders do not appear to have strength beyond that of a regular human beings. However, they possess other ab uh, abilities that make them, them difficult to evade once encountered. Coders appear to be Capable of telekinesis, using their minds to interface with technological devices. Coders have been observed to use computers by simply standing and staring at the monitor. By unknown means, they are able to freely access information in any public internet domain available in the, in the back rooms, bypassing any form of encryption security with ease. However, they appear to be entirely uninterested in, ent in editing any information except what pertains to themselves. Coders are not capable of other forms of telekinesis and have been observed after repairing hardware manually. Coders are also apparently capable of telepathy, able to exert control over a wanderer's mind simply by looking at them. Coders can manipulate a wanderer's mind, causing them to experience hallucinations. Some of these include 
one false no clips. Coders are able to in alter a wanderer's vision drastically. Survivors have claimed that they appear to see themselves no clipping through through the floor into another level, though they had not actually moved at all. At this point, the cutter simply walks up to the disoriented Edwater to seize them. 2. Memory Deletion Cutters could temporarily delete Wanderer's memories, leading to a brief bout of amnesia. Deleted memories include the fact that Wanderers are being pursued, the fact they are in level blank, and in rare instances, the existence of and their presence within the backrooms. Uh, 3. Auditory and, and Visual Hallucinations, which lure wanderers towards the coders. Discovery. Coders were discovered after a bank operative accidentally no clipped into level 400. The coders proceeded to assess the operative by providing him with refreshments, and he could replace the operative's correctable phone screen before sending him on his way. Actual Discovery. Coders were discovered after a meg operative, Jamie S. Lane, accidentally no clipped into level 400 and found a, a corpse with the elite words. They make you one of them, spray printed on a wall nearby. Do's and don'ts. Do approach them. Request for assistance, trade or IT services. Don't be afraid to approach them because of their practices. Be disrespectful or mean to them for no reason because of how helpful they are to everyone. Real do's and don'ts. Do avoid entering level 400 in the first place if possible. Recognize their signature red hoodies and try to avoid or sneak past them. Try to break a line of sight with them. Rescue water is undergoing the coding process before the end of the 45 second window. Not recommended unless your group is armed and prepared to take a down up to 12 men. Don't let them see you. Destroy any technological devices in front of them. Attempt to rescue fully coded slaves. Look at their faces. Hello, can anybody see this? Might maybe software. Yeah, download. Oh, did welcome, administrator. Finally, I cracked the lead. Ugh, this is so hard. Okay, look. If you can read it, this. My name is. I'm not even gonna try to read that. I got caught and coded, but for some reason my mind is intact. Read this stuff carefully. This is important. There's a computer, a special one. From what I've seen, it can access any a non-secret level in the back rooms. This is really hard to read. I think I've I've seen then a little bit much, but either way, it's really hard to read because of the blinking ones and zeros. The code is tied something in, in, a portal opens, boom. But these guys are idiots. They reach in and grab a computer or junk. Then they close the portal. I have no idea why they won't just go through to invade. If they or trying to take over, seems like that would be a better way to do it. They can also use a computer to like, tr 
create levels or something. I don't know. I think I saw them do wait. All right, they've got control over a few levels. With that PC. They like to toy with the people stuck inside. If you ever want to stop these guys for real, maybe. God damn. Try grabbing in, in that one computer. I don't know if it'll work. But maybe there's a way to reverse the coding process and cure them and cure me specifically, please. Okay, that was really hard to read. Now we have level 400, also known as their home. Sorry, I was checking how far it went and also where this is connected. Okay, this thing is finally working. The cutters deleted this article several times. We've had to re, re upload this more times than I can count. And they've stopped now. I think they've given up, which is a relief. Although for some reason, we can't fix what they did to the UI. Anyway, the information re recorded here was collected courtesy of, of Meg Arbertive, Jameson, and before you went, list missing in level 400. For an accurate understanding of this entry, I recommend that you read low and the uh, 136 first. Correct information can be added into false information by coders. If any information in this article contradicts with and of the article on entry 136, please contact the Meg Public Database Tech Support Hotline immediately. Kind regards, Meg Senior o Administrative Officer Stephen Alling. Survival so difficulty Class amended. Unsafe and unsecure. Undocumented entities. Altered files. Level 400 is the 401st level of the backrooms. Description. Level 400 is a black and white warehouse with metal and ceramic tiles as well as a dim pyramid in the center. It is infested with coders and it is highly recommended that you avoid this level. As the level is highly dangerous. This is the only level where coders appear in. Further into the base, as you might find a room mostly filled with technology, computers, laptops, routers, it is advised not to touch these objects as doing so, as doing this seems to alert nearby coders. There is a pyramid in the center of the room, and it is highly recommended not to go inside of it, as this is a common place where most coders are seen. The pyramid's contents are unknown as the size is incredibly vast. Should you enter, you are then and at the point of no return. This should be avoidable as the level is quite big, about the size of two Olympic pools or 1.5 football stadiums. But if the wanderer does find himself in the pyramid, there is one small exit. There is a small chance you can end up in the code by jumping through one of the computers. Code is level one. But it's level 404, we will be reading about that right after this. Editing code. The coders appear to use a specific coding language when interfacing with electronic devices. The code is alien to humans and physically incomprehensible to any person who is not a coder. Therefore, editing this code is not possible. The alien code is also known to self-destruct if it is uploaded on a pen drive or a flash drive. The computer. There is one item that could make entering the level worth the risk. In the exact center of the 
the pyramid, there is a computer with the ability to add or go to a myriad of levels in cluster 1. To exit, all you need to do is, simply, is select the level on the computer. As the level appears as a file, such as level 0 for example, after that you no clip wherever you are, are standing on command. Fall through the floor to that level. Attempt to spring over the computer's file also a USB have resulted in the file files disappearing off it. Files on the special computer are written in the aforementioned alien code, making it impossible for anyone besides coders to add the information. For unknown reasons, it is impossible to delete the files off the computer. The computer is connected to the internet and can access the MEG database with administrators' privileges, allowing the coders to edit or delete any entry they desire. Coded levels. Sometimes, after running with the coder, they can make you think you no clip to a different level. Well, in actual fact, these are just code levels. These are some examples, but not all of them. You can get sent to a reverse false level zero, where instead of yellow walls and loud fluorescent lights, there are purple walls and silent lights. Meg operator or Jameson has a theory that coders are behind the sub levels and are somehow tied with level 404, as the level has a common tie with data and matches, such as the alien code flow in one of these is rooms. The reason for the sub-level part of the theory is that the code levels have exhibited a similar appearance to what average sub-levels look like. Level 1.5 is the best example of what a coded level would look like. It is theorized that coders are behind the sub-level as a coded level would begin to fall apart shortly after entry. Due to the way it's constructed, it is a jumbled mess unlike other backrooms levels. Where they look sleek and stable, the code levels appear to be more messy and looking like they were generated. Bases, outposts, and communities. There are no, on, there are no known bases, outposts, or communities, as most of the people will, will there have not made it out to tell the tale. Interests and exits. Interests. You can get here by opening an application called Mind is Software on the end computer. You can also go down a green slide in level 119. Similar to the way at the end, you can also enter Mind is Software on one of the on one of level 201's terminals. You can pledge your life to the code and data on the code. Also, you can enter a window in level 188 with code coming out of it as well. Exits. You can get it out by no clipping through the wall. This was discovered by a non mega employee. You can get out if you go to the computer in pyramid and clicking one of the levels. Sometimes you will randomly exit this level by unknown means. It's highly recommended to check if you are in the actual level and not fabricated one created by a coder. Error. Data corrupted. Would you like to load a, load a backup? We have soft locked your mind. Do not resist. Give in to the code. Your mind is now software. Oh. Let me just see if there's something there. Nothing visible, but. Nope. Okay. Now we're going to read about level 404 because it's very similar in the vein of coders and code stuff. And internet please work. You were just working. Oh, it looks like it's finally working again.
Oh, jeez. Level 404, Survival Difficulty, Class 0. Safe, Secure, Devo- Oid. Huh. Level 404 is the 404th Circle of Heaven. Don't you remember? Have you forgotten your time here already? Okay, this is starting to reach into a different thing that Limit Spaces is known for. I'm going to. Level 404 is a place where the planes intersect and bisect, and bend in, in the way that a suffering hard drive breaks under the weight of the data you feed it. In level 404, you may find yourself developing a consciousness should it occur. Cut out of your head with the sharpest piece of the sky you could find. Things are broken here, but it's your home. In level 404, you find yourself unable to think straight. You find yourself unable to think in circles. You speak about her, I mean level 404, in hushed whispers. Isn't it a shame what happened here? How you never saw her again? Where are these, these words coming from? You wonder, but why are you asking, my dear? Don't you know better than anyone else? You document it feverishly as the ground flickers beneath your feet. You like it here. What a peaceful world. Wait, suffering hard drive. Oh, I remember reading that demo a few videos ago. In level 4, four they type things in that are really creepy. Reality is falling in the most perfect way as the 3D mesh glitches. Memory cloud, memories cloud your mind and steal your hands. It's a lovely day outside. Why don't we go for a walk, you and I? There's no one else around, just you and the erring loves. Landscape. You're so delightfully, refreshingly alone that you're drowning on sweet air like a surface wave for holes. I'm already creeped out. Lose yourself in the data. Aren't you happy? Aren't you excited? Oh. You finally found your empty paradise. Come home. When you were a small child, you found your own personal digital heaven. And you met a girl there whose code was chiseled by the gods. She laughed and hexed a decimal and took your help. And it guide you to the skybox, and then you forgot her forever. Don't be scared. Come home. She loved you. We miss you. Okay. That is entirely creepy. Basis, outposts, and communities. You, your memories, your own mind. Entrances and exits. Level 404 can be accessed by safely and conveniently entering Katatoa. Katatoa. I don't know what that means. We are not reading about level minus zero.
I'm not reading negative levels today, sorry. But I will see what these actually lead to. Level 12, level 18, and the code. Isn't level 4 for the code? I think we'll do that another time. Exits. Why would you ever want to leave paradise? Okay. I am used to a certain type of horror when it comes to the back rooms. A fake manipulative heaven horror is not something I'm very used to. If you somehow enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but I think it's going to be something far more lighthearted than this because that made me incredibly uncomfortable. Until then, goodbye!